Good morning, Mr. Atkinson, Jim Atkinson from Antimony Resources. How are you this morning? I'm I'm very good, actually. And of good course, good to be talking to you. <laughs> antimony Resources. We were just discussing how important antimony is to the Pentagon. How about we start there and why you're such a competitive company for everybody to be looking at this summer? Well, I think the most important thing is is you know it is antimony is incredibly important to the U.S not only to the military, but to the U.S. industries in general. In 2023, they imported 140,000 metric tons of antimony trioxide, and they don't produce a single pound. So there is that kind of need there. There's that, you know, that huge demand for antimony. It's used in all kinds of different applications. Of course, one of the biggest ones is with the military, uh, you know, hardening lead. But interesting, I think, is that Antimony trioxide is a flame retardant, and it's apparently sprayed on every tent in the United States military. So even that's a huge demand. The Department of Defense in the United States has stated that they will only buy antimony from North America. And to back that up, they put a lot of money in, into a project in Idaho called Perpetua. I would just remind everybody that Perpetua is a gold mine. I would also remind them that the grade of antimony that they'll be mining, according to their PEA in the first four year, five years, is 0.4% antimony. We're expecting our grade to be 4% antimony. So in other words, 10 times higher than that. In fact, we use 0.4% as our cutoff. In other words, that's our low end. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be, you know, obnoxious here, but I just want people to understand the grade that we're talking about in our Bald Hill project. North America's first standalone antimony hub. You've just had some drilling results that makes you so competitive. What? Give us some of the highlights from those drilling results, please. Thank you. Well, we, we put out some, some assays from our first uh, drilling drill holes. Drill hole four, for instance, was 4.7 over seven meters. That's a very significant intersection and a very significant value you know stuff uh, values and thicknesses like that allow you to quickly put together volumes which can be turned into tons so i would also mention that i came across a chart of the highest antimony assays these were all over the world but especially in north america that that one single assay which was from our drill hole four would have been about number five or six on that list and our highest grade assay that we have in the project in from past drilling would have been number two on that list. And I would just mention that the list was compiled by taking the length of the intersection and multiplying it by the assay. So that means if you have a very long intersection of low grade, you're gonna get a high number. What we're talking about are high, interse or high assays over relatively significant intersections in the order of five, six meters. And when it comes to the mining side of things, you know, four, five, six meters, those are great uh, widths for underground mining. Timing. Uh, China's December 2024 export curbs have intensified the push for a Western supply of antimony. Is it possible, Jim, that China will actually just cut off all antimony exports Completely. Well, I can see that happening for two reasons. First of all, it's a very good economic weapon for them. And secondarily, I think one of the reasons why they've curbed exports is because their own supply is diminishing and their own requirements within their own country are still growing. So I think they're a little bit nervous. And again, I'm speaking totally out of, out of basically out of my ears here because I don't know, but I suspect that one of the reasons why they've cut that down is because their their actual internal supply is is reducing. I do know that there are still companies shipping concentrate to China, so China is still taking it in. They're just not letting it come out as the finished product. The company that I know of, of several of them in Australia, ship their concentrate to China for processing. So it's, China is still taking it in. They're just not letting it out, and I think. 
you know, several of the reasons have to do with some of their mines, which have been in operation for a long time and are fundamentally mom and pop type operations, um, you know, maybe running out and they're a bit worried about their own internal supply. For everybody watching Investor Talk, we have with Antimony Resources, North America's first standalone Antimony Hub, a pure play leverage. And of course, the timing with China curbing their export of antimony to North America. What should shareholders be looking forward to next, Jim? Thank you. Well, I think the, the thing to look for from our company will be the release of, of more and more assays. We have drilled 3,100 meters into this project already. We have submitted almost 1,500 samples. So we'll be putting out assays over the next, I, I would say, two months or month and a half. Turn, turns around, turnaround time at the lab is currently around four weeks, three to four weeks. So, you know, every time we put in some uh, some samples, we have to wait that long before we get the results back. The other thing I would mention, though, is that antimony, in the case, the mineral stibnite, which is the mineral that contains the antimony, is very easy to see in the drill core. And when we see, you know, massive, massive zones of stibnite, we suspect we're going to get pretty good assays. And so in our holes, we've seen massive stibnite in over 70% of our holes. So I can expect we're going to get some good assays over the next while, probably in the order of what we got from drill hole four. Some of them will be better. Some will be around the same. So that's, that's what I would suspect over the next, let's say, two months. For everybody out there now very interested in antimony resources, I recommend you go check out James Atkinson's LinkedIn account and or go to antimonyresources.ca for more information. Thank you for joining us today, Jim. Thank you very much for having us.